storm o'clock and we first of all we request everyone to switch on their cameras and uh, please ensure that you're on a laptop or a desktop and it is charged or charging as you're playing the game so that the set game session is uh, seamless for you and uh, yeah before we start i would request you all to okay we've got a few others joining in right away but I would request you all to uh, be on a laptop again and or a desktop. And that's it. And uh, over to Matt. Awesome. Thank you for taking the time on everyone's busy Saturday to come and play with us. Just, just to make sure that you're in the right place. Tomo Club is an educational gaming hub for children that are 8 to 14. It's grades three to nine where the kids come together and play games together. They collaborate, they foster social emotional learning skills, 21st century life skills. And for those who are able to explore what we do, let's let's watch, let me watch, let me share my screen so that you can watch this video. I'm not getting any audio, Chelsea. Greetings and painting. Oh, he likes to read too. All right. I don't need to. My name is Lee. Is the audio yeah. right. Excited to have you here with Tomo Club today. Oh, Lucas. So, my name is Jesus. I'm Zara. I really like reading and painting. Oh, he likes to read too. All right. I don't need to. Do. I like you are? To. I'm a very talkative. Person. We are going to start by playing a game. How do you make an alliance? So now our, when we grow, we don't hit each other. And we have see it's th that that is tomo club in action that is kids learning and playing we 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 play with kids for a week every hour my kids are learning and growing and playing and it's an environment where there are moderators and teachers and educators who are spending 10 15 20 minutes with my kids and teaching them life skills and then they get into an arena and play with their friends and get to practice that in a safe environment which which is really really rewarding for me as a parent i i wanted to sh I, I wanted to share with everybody that's a part of this webinar even for those that will watch in you know that that weren't able to make it today my unique perspective is that okay chelsea can i just take a few minutes Okay, I just wanted to take a few minutes because there's not everybody knows who I am. My name is Matt Neal, and my wife and I both have classically homeschooled our children from the time that we that they were born. It was something that was very important to us. And so when when my my girls are both twelve and thirteen, and when they were born, my wife and I decided to divide and conquer. And so I was going to 
pursue building a kingdom and conquering business and being as successful as I could so that our family could flourish. My wife, being an educator, decided to do the same thing for our children and said, Matt, I'm going to pursue educating our children with full force. And so in the midst of us dividing and conquering, I went into the work world and into corporate America and started to uh, develop sales teams and marketing teams and put huge deals together. And, and this is what I want to bring to the Tomo Club discussion is as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a person that has been put in charge to hire and fire and grow teams and accomplish huge goals. One of the big, the, the most frustrating things for me as, as a team leader, as a boss, as, as a visionary is to put a team together and then realize that you don't have to manage the skills on your team you have to manage the lack of skills on your team. You have to take into consideration as you're putting a deal together or you're trying to accomplish a huge goal, the fact that one of the key players lacks the ability to even possess empathy, lacks the ability to regulate his emotions. Those are something as, as, as a, a corporate leader, I've had to take into consideration when I'm running rubrics to solve problems and put deals together. And so when Tomo Club came around and, and I'm always looking for options, we all are as educators, we want to make sure that the next generation has every tool that they can possibly have to be successful. So as I'm looking in the landscape of all of the marketing and sales and corporate professionals that I'm with, I'm saying, oh my goodness, there's this huge deficiency. So how do we take this deficiency that exists in our culture and it's very hard to teach old dogs new tricks. We all know this in business. We all know this in education. We all know this in life that it's very hard to correct bad, bad muscle memory. If you're a golfer, it's way easier to learn how to swing a golf club good. I, I mean, well, from the beginning, it's very hard to learn after you have bad habits. And so when I was trying to think about what I would communicate with, with everyone today, it was basically that. The realization that I came to as an parent and as a corporate leader and as an educator was we have a huge, huge deficiency. And if it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, but if we can take and teach the puppies the right way now, then we change the future. Now we change the whole trajectory of not just my kids, because that's what I care about the most, right? That's, <laughs> but it doesn't just change my kids if we're able to invest in their life skills now. It changes our communities. It changes our churches. It changes our sports teams. It changes our schools. It changes, it changes our world. And so that's why I've been so excited about Tomo Club. And that's why they asked me to get on here and be a cheerleader, because not only did I see that need, in corporate America where I was like, oh my gosh, what can I do? I've already been investing in salespeople and corporate America, but changing the next generation is something that I will give my life to. What I saw in Tomo Club was my kids' lives changing. As an educator, as someone who's classically homeschooled my kids from day one, I know when they're learning. And when they learn things that I don't teach them and then they teach them to me, now we've got something. And Tomo Club created that environment where my teenagers are coming to me and communicating to me life skills that they've learned from Tomo Club and how they're applying them in their life and sometimes how they think I should apply it in my life. Um, say no more, say no more. They're learning, they're growing with their friends rapidly. I've been measuring their growth of learning and their trajectory. Well, their, their, their mother's much better at that, but we've been doing that from day one. The growth that I've seen in the last six months with my kids and with their friends, the, the reports that I hear from other parents that are in my kids' cohort that say, my son, 
I don't know why this is Matt, but after Tomo club, he's obedient. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Five minutes. He's obedient for five minutes. Who cares? I let my kids play video games and they're obedient for an hour. And she's like, no, he's a kinder person. And I'm like, what? this is an unexpected result. So what I'm saying is I saw a need and then serendipitously, I saw a change in my child and in the kids that are around and about them. And I said, I want my kids to be a part of this because I believe firmly in classical education. My kids learn Latin and I, you, you name it, they learn it. But all of the scholastic endeavors that they pursue would leave them short with a shortfall if I didn't spend time investing on life skills where they're able to regulate their emotions and take into the consideration where they're able to collaborate. How many times have all of us as adults been on a team where we know the direction a team can go and there's one person that we can't get to go the way that we know we need? These are the life skills that I wanted to make sure as a parent that my kid wasn't, wasn't missing because I saw in industry, it was majorly deficient. And Tomo Club has, has given me snapshots and reports that go home after my kids play where I can have a conversation with them about opportunity costs or emotional regulation or the conversations happen naturally with Tomo Club, which as a parent is just a total win. Now, that that's pretty much all that I really had to share, uh, Chelsea. And and I think every everybody didn't come here to listen to me pontificate. They they kind of want to play some video games. Absolutely. And I think everything that you shared right now, Matt, is extremely valuable to all of us, especially uh, people who have joined here with the intention of knowing more about uh, Domo Club. So just a quick round of introductions. I would love to know a little bit about everyone who's joined here. I am Chelsea Dean and I'm the curriculum head at Domo Club and would love to know uh, what your intentions are or what expectations you have from this session. And thank you again, uh, Matt, for sharing all that you just did. And we're so glad that you're seeing that uh, shift or that you're seeing that uh, change in your kids, right? And in your in their friends as well. Yeah, I would love for uh, someone to hold it here. Uh, Miss Kim, are you? Yeah, I. And thank you, thank you. No I'm Kim Case. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and um, I've been an educator for almost 30 years, and I'm really into gamification and teaching and um, remediating that way. So that's why I wanted to stop by and see what this was all about. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Have you joined from a laptop, Miss Kim? My iPad. Okay, you're uh, on an iPad. Okay. So you probably yes. will not be able to play the game, but you will be able to spectate it. So that wouldn't be a problem. Okay, no yeah? problem. That's okay. Or if you have access to a laptop, if it's around you. Uh, yeah. it's, it's not, but that's okay. Okay, all right. I can watch. All right. Um, My name Hi, I'm Pam McNall. Um, I'm here from Atlanta, Georgia, and I run Respectful Ways. We are a trauma-informed social emotional learning curriculum and for pre-K through 12th grade. And we're in all over in different parts of the country. We're small entrepreneur. Uh, I hear you loud and clear, Matt, with managing teams and and I love the idea of not managing not you know managing what they're missing is what's needed it's, and so I've been working with a number of organizations in partnership to uh, 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 you know gamify social emotional learning and I just wanted to jump on learn about you and see about collaboration um, and we'll just go from there so I'm here to see what y'all have because uh it'd be great to see thank you so glad to know that all right of course we will be reaching out to you now that we understand what your expectation sure yeah um john carrie would you like to go next all right i i am john williams um 
actually joining from um, Dallas, Texas. So um, I actually go, I registered for the session with the hope that I'll be using my um, laptop though, because um, my laptop for now, I'm trying to put it on, but it's not coming up. Uh -oh. So um, I will just have to just um, join with my phone. So I'm joining with my phone now, so but just to watch, yeah. yeah. No Thank problem. You. But I'm glad that you were still able to join despite yeah, yeah. Uh, all the problems. Thanks for being persistent. Right. Yeah, thanks. Miss Carrie, would you like to go ahead? Hi, um, I'm Carrie. Um, Matt and his wife Jackie are good friends of my family. So I've been hearing um, from them about Tomo Club. So um, a lot of positive things and I'm an educator and I have three children as well. So just interested in learning more. All right. So we got educators and we got parents uh, on this platform today and uh, let's uh, get into the gameplay now. And today Matt is taking the ownership of moderating the session for us, the game session for us. So let's see how that goes. And I'm going to share the link in that in the chat box right away. And I'll be sharing my screen. So the others uh, who won't, who will, who will not be uh, able to play, they'll be able to see my screen, right? So I'll share okay. the link in the chat box. Go ahead, Matt. Chelsea's gonna share a link in the chat box, and we're gonna play a, a game called Crisis Crew. This is my first time moderating. We, I'm gonna be taking the role that our trained teachers and moderators normally take in the gameplay sessions. So just be patient, it is my first time, but um, I'm gonna take us through what, what you just put your student hats on. Your, it, this is what your kids and students will normally experience, except they'll have someone that's a lot better than me. <laughs> but let's go ahead and just jump right in there. Today, we're gonna to be playing Crisis Crew. And we're going to be learning how a zoomed out perspective helps in life. I'm going to be the quarter. Crisis Crew is a sci-fi themed game where players take on the role of first responders. Teams of two or three players are going to explore a high security, top secret military facility. And it was evacuated due to unusual activity. So, you know, let your mind go wander there. You will be divided into groups of three and your team will need to strategize uh, to come to the final point. Click on the link in the chat box and it should take you to our website now or to, to Google Chrome. Now, just something that you wanna keep in mind with Google Chrome, while you're playing the game, we'll be switching back and forth between Zoom from time to time to go back into breakout rooms. So you have to keep the link active on Google. So if you notice that your person stops walking around or you can't find a key and you're unresponsive, it's because the link on Chrome is not active. So click on run game, enter your name, and then click to confirm. If you need to select a region, please select Europe by toggling using the arrows and click connect, and then click join to enter the room. The room ID is 503. If it's asking for your room ID, it's 503. I'm in, it's on the bottom, it says region colon US and then ping 34 MS on the right. Right. So just click yeah. on connect. Sorry, Matt, I'll just help her through this, yeah? Just click on reconnect. Yeah. Create, the word create. Yeah. No, no, click on reconnect. Can you see reconnect written right uh, below it? Reconnect, yes. Click reconnect. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, what do you see? Do you see moderator written in front of the build? I see connect to game server, pick the settings and connect to the game server, build, moderator, region, and best. Let me share my screen and I'll help you guys through it. Okay. Let me know if you can see my screen. Yep. 
So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think this is something that you've all crossed already. And I'll enter my name. Confirm. So this should pop up on your screen, right? Now, uh, in the region, just toggle between those by click on the, clicking on the arrows and select Europe as the server region. Sorry. Select Europe and I am. Europe and then hit connect. Yes. Yeah. And you'll see uh, this box coming up, this button saying join. Click on join and enter the room ID 503. Mine says the crisis crew create. There's a. Okay. Says, yeah, I see what has happened. Just click on create, uh, reconnect again. And reconnect. Yeah. And uh, in the build, just go to player. Got it. Europe yep. and player. Yes, exactly. Okay, right, click on connect and click on join. I'll stop sharing my screen. Click on join and enter the room. The valid room ID number again? 503. Yeah, I see everyone. In. Everyone's in. I uh, would request everyone to be active on their uh, browsers. Right? And in the meanwhile, you can go through the tutorials. So where to click and read, is that correct? Yes. Once everybody has had a chance to read through the instructions, we're going to be joining breakout rooms. So I don't think we require them now, but we can, uh, yeah, we'll be good. Okay, we're good. Is everybody that I'm going to let you take the lead and then you tell me when we're ready. Yeah, we are. Just uh, waiting for everyone to read uh, the tutorials. And if everyone's ready, we can start. Yeah. Something that I never tell that 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 I always forget is if everybody could unmute yourself when we jump into the game. That way, you'll be able to communicate with your teammates. Yeah. So that's one. And the second thing is definitely, Matt, that's very important. And the second thing is that uh, I think, Kim, you got dropped off for some reason. I saw you. No, I'm still here. Uh, you got dropped off in the game. Oh, think, yeah. okay. If that's okay. We'll wait. Uh, till in the meanwhile, I'll just tell you all uh, something that you'll need to take care of. Uh, you're going to be using the arrow keys on your keyboards to move around, right? And to interact with uh, to interact with any of the control panels that you'll find on the map, you need to use E or one, two, three, four, five, or Q or space. So those instructions will already be given to you. You just need to pay attention to that. And you'll have to discuss uh, with each other about what has to be done and uh, who needs to go where, and uh, things, like that, things like that, right? All right, if everyone's ready, I'm going to start the game now. Are we all ready? A good thumbs up would be great. Do we, do we have to click yes. the tutorial? Yeah. We need to click that, is that correct? Yes, I've read the tutorial, yes. I don't see that. That's okay. I'm going to start. So the first round is just for you to explore uh, mm -hmm. the game along with your team, right? And to get to know your team a little better. So it's going to be the three of you, Carrie, Pam, and Kim. All right. I'm starting and I'm going to share my screen for... All right. 
So should we go back to watching you or stay on no, our no, game? Let's stay on the game. Stay on our game. Yeah. Use the arrow keys to move uh, around. Perfect, yeah. Collect all the keys possible that you can see around you. Can we hit it there? Okay. Um, are we supposed to hit each other, not each other? I mean, what's the purpose? I, okay. I, I... Uh, why don't one of you try and zoom out? Like all of y'all should uh, zoom out and see what's happening or where you'll need to be at the end of it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right, so there's a flag point where all three of you have to reach, right? So you have to help each other uh, to get out of whichever area you're in. So the first okay. time be frustrating and that's completely okay because it's, it's the first time you're playing this game, right? It's the first time you're going to be playing this game and you're going to be with your friends. Your friends are going to help you out and we're going to be there as well to help you out through the first one. See, so you can use the control panel. Only one control is really active at one time. Yeah. What does the space bar do when you are told to press it? Yeah. Do you, uh, can you try zooming out? Keep, yeah. And uh, why don't you move away from it once? And okay. now, now press this, uh, what do you call it? Now press the zoom out button. You see there's zoom a... Zoom out. Yeah. Is the point to go over to this yeah. location? The corner on the right yes. that looks and you need to get there. you're right and you need to get all your friends along and and i can't and i'm are we uh are our okay. students talking to each other so i could say hey carrie oh yeah so kim if you go up and then to the right you'll be able to right. get over this thing got it poor carrie you're blocked behind a thing I, yeah i'm stuck yeah so how do we get her out the same way you were using the control panel, using the space bar. That's so we have to help her out? Exactly. Oh. I figured it out. That was good. But I mean, so I don't wait. I don't get there and wait. I'm supposed to go back out and somehow help them? Yes. Okay. What are the little, you know, washing machines? There, that there. Now she's... Pam, you should be able to get through. Uh, so someone from the Is other it, side will have to uh, use the control panel. So I does think everyone, we'll have to do that. Yeah, go ahead. Does well, everyone else's, once, once you're arrowing, does everyone else's Zoom go close in? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm zoomed out right now. And then as soon as I hit my arrows, it yeah. zooms back in. Is that correct? Yes. Supposed to do that? Yeah. All right. Well, then I guess now, now they're both blocked again. <laughs> now we're both stuck on the side. Yeah. Here, can I That's knock good. this guy over? I was trying to help find Pam. How'd you, how'd you just get that open in the first place to Kim to get to the other side? So it's going to be not for you guys. Uh oh, time's up. I used the space bar. Yeah. Let me know if you're leaving. Is this a new game now? It's the same one. It's just restarted because uh, you'll still have to complete the level to go to the next one. And remember that you need to collect all the keys. Oh, what? Okay, that's news. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. As, uh, keys Are keys in this space thing? Yeah. And so I have to hit the space bar or something? Yeah. You're right. You're right. Why don't... Yeah. One of you should just try uh, zooming out and see what uh, you guys need to do. You girls need to do, sorry. Right, Pam, why don't you go towards uh, Kim? Go up and go right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and carry you don't move. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that was good, that was good. Yep, 
Now search for the flag point or the or the last spacecraft. Go ahead, Gary. Yeah. Come on, Kim. We're going over here. So we just need. Yay! Here comes Carrie. And down and over. And now we're both over at this. We're all three at this. Yeah. Go back and go in again. Turn left and go right again. Oh, Pam. Okay. Good job, you guys. That was great. On to the next round. Okay. And now it's blocking locations, right? Yep. All right, we can't go there. So I guess let's just guess. No. Oh, I is think there, I found another thing. Is there anything on the, on the screen that you guys noticed that you that you didn't notice at first, or are there any ideas that you think might be silly that you don't want to share with your team members? Repeat the question. Are there any ideas that you have about how you can make progress as a team that seems silly and you might not feel comfortable sharing with your teammates, like? Just something silly, something I tried. I'm not even. Uh, um, what do we do with this yellow thing? What shape is it? The round yellow thing. Does it turn? It might, but I don't know how to turn it. I think we have to go back to the, what are these washing machines? <laughs> what the, what, 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 I don't know what it is. We, like yeah, washing, I thought it was a washing plant. machine too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure. it's, They're it's the like key. Real life. It's like real to, life, you have, to do laun you have to do laundry to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> like these, whatever they are, are the key to unlocking yep. or turning. You sort of stuck, you guys. So my team here, if anyone has advice, I'm I am oh, stuck. Oh, it turned. Someone just went through. Yay! Look yeah. at Kim. So yay! You just opened that for me, Kim. Thank you. How did you turn Thank it? You. I, I just did, went up to it and it turned. I went back to the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you okay, so you were you were able to turn it. Ah, look, I just turned it. I just sort of hit it a couple times, you guys. And then yep. I'll be able to get down to these little um uh, men. I'm assuming and just gobble them up. Is a washing machine important to hit? But I think I think it's also important to get yeah. down at these guys. So I think we're supposed to grab this dude. So the washing machines or the control panels, as we call them, they're the ones operating all these uh, puzzles, if you might say, if you might want to call that. Okay. Right? So if you press Q or E, that's what's turning the uh, thing, the yellow thing. Oh, see now it opened up for me. Yep. Yeah. So I think Kim would have to tell you where uh Hi, Carrie. Where you need to take her. <laughs> Kim's stuck on the other side. Why don't you all try and zooming out? Try to zoom out. out. Yeah. Try to zoom out this time. Yep. I don't yeah. even know where I'm at. Okay, here I am. Okay, I just got that guy. I think I got kicked out of the game again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. 
Yeah. How do we know our So okay, let's see. So uh, our, the, our goal is to hit the the, the panel, correct? Does your goal is to reach the end point along with your team. Uh, when I hit when I hit Q, it moves it. So Carrie, if you want me to get you anywhere, Carrie, I recommend you go down and get gobble I'm, up. One. Yeah, I'm on the right side now. I think. And now I think I'm going to go down and try to get one of these guys over here. And so your your students are speaking to each other about going up. Are they giving each other advice? Yeah. Or, or they don't see it as a competition, which is different than what I'm sure they're used to, right? Right. So, so another thing is we're not gobbling up the washing machines. So now we're at the carries in the spot in the spot she needs to be. Yeah. Now let's see if I can hit Q and make the change. No, I think I, I think I need to be at a washing machine to well, change. I think the position. I have to come back and help you. I think. Yeah. There you there go. You go. Yeah. <laughs> good, good teamwork, you guys. Okay, you gotta come and help me. Yeah, I know. I got kicked out and it says the game is closed. Yeah, so we'll oh, get you no. in, in exactly one minute. One second, yeah. yeah. Uh, hurry up. Um, I, I swear I want to go back up okay. to... Pam, you need to go and stand by the the yellow turning thing. Okay, stand by it. Yeah, okay. so when it turns, then you can yeah, yeah, yeah. go and through. So you're, you're helping it turn. Yeah. How, because you're by the... Washing machine. Washing machine. <laughs> There's another so one. That's the dryer. Do you hit a Q? When I hit was hitting Q, it seemed to split. Oh, now it's not. Oh. Oops. Oh. Oh, wait. There we go. Yes. Okay, now you go. Now yeah. Oh. Oh, curses. Okay, down, down. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So awesome. 50 seconds. I know exactly. Come on, Carrie. This, this is great, though. <laughs> to zoom out to, oh, like, where am I? There's Carrie. Carrie Kim, we, yeah. lost, we lost our brethren, Kim. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it said the game was closed. Okay. I'll go out and come back in. Pam, did you walk I did. through? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. No, I guess I haven't. I'm going to walk back. back. I'm walk back. Sorry. There you go. Uh, that was good. All right. So now the score is 94. Yeah. Uh, so you want me to ask some questions, Chelsea? Go ahead. Okay. How was that round for everybody? Uh, a little better now that we kind of know a little mm -hmm. bit of what to do. I know each round will change, but uh, we obviously have to help each other out. What were what were some things in this round that you both noticed or that all three of you noticed was worked for your team? Um, it, you have moments of dawning of things con connecting, right? Like all of a sudden I realized that the contraption is uh can help turn the thing so that was new and i'm glad that someone mentioned that thing can spin because then i was like okay so that's a whole new game changer and i did not recognize that because i'm not 12 years old <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny that it's funny that you say that because i always feel the same way you see, kids play these games and they're they, they're gamers who are kids they're not kids who are gamers so they're like no problem but you put us on and we're like, wait, is that an arrow key? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Would you would you guys That's like so to try true. another round? Would you like to try another round? Yeah. That, what about like John and Arapa and Shh? <laughs> are these people 
uh, are they are those people or so yes no yeah. so Sa saeed and arupa are on our team they're here to assist us john wow. is observing on an ipad and can't actually play but let's go ahead and jump into the next round because they can see us playing but don't be nervous they're not judgy oh. it's <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh let's jump into another session but chelsea maybe when we go into our breakout rooms or when we go into this next session maybe we could have about five minutes or two or three minutes where we could talk as a team about maybe some new ideas absolutely we can do that um kim you you can join the room now the room is open. okay yeah the room number is 503 so you can take the space right now to just talk about what do you think you want to do in the next round? So if if you would like for me to start from a new round, you can let me know that. Or if you would like to start from the first round, because practice makes better, we can do that as well. Right? So let me know. You'll have the next uh, couple of minutes to discuss what strategies would work best for you when we get into this new round. Sorry, I have to message someone. Okay, sorry. What are we doing? I'm going uh, new room. Okay. First response. Fighting ramps. Yeah, so the question was, uh, would you want to uh, think of any strategies that you would like to use in the next round or this uh, next round for your team? I would love to know if anyone understands the the middle image, which is like a face with the hanging things, is that, um, I'm just trying to comprehend. Isn't that like a key? Those are the special keys that are scattered across the levels and the keys open up something. And the light bulb, does the light bulb do anything that you guys are aware of? Here's operating. I don't think we've got to that yet. Okay. Work together and find the best possible route as many at, through as many. All right, I think. And how many of us are on this game now? I think it's three. the three of us again. Okay. <laughs> Kim's back. Yes. Yep. I can see you in King. So I'm just sharing my screen really quickly. It's going to be the three of you playing the game. Right, so we've got these different contraptions. So we've got sliding ramps, you've got these turn tiles that you were trying to operate, and we've got the path blockers that you saw in the first round, right? Which you had to press the space bar to take it down, and then someone could move through it, right? Then um, to operate the turn tiles, you had to use Q or E. So Q, if you click on Q, it would turn left, and if you quick click on E, it would turn right. Right? So you need to find these control panels uh, across the map and then use the keys that you were you already had. Right, So all these things that you're collecting, those are the keys which you're using uh, to control to use on the control panels, right? to turn all these things, to, uh, to use or to uh, just use the contraptions or to move the contraptions. Right, so the first one is the control panel that you're all calling the washing machine. So if it works for you, it's it's the washing machine for us, right? Then we've got the keys. 
right? And then we got a light bulb. So what you'll notice is that when you start off, you only see a very small area around you. You don't see the entire map, right? So as soon as someone gets to the map, uh, someone gets to the light bulb, the entire map is visible. And also when you zoom out, you're able to see everything and you're able to see where your uh, fellow teammates are. Then there's also a timer running and yeah, that's it. Just remember to zoom out as and when you think that uh, you need to find where your other teammates are. All right. I don't have anything okay. that says red, red anymore. Do, do you control my thing? Yeah, that's okay. Because you've already done it once, right? Okay. Yeah, that's the only reason. So I would request everyone to be active on their browsers now. And I'm going to start the game from the second round, from the second level, right? Which was uh, the one using the turn tile, right? Good luck, good luck, everybody. Turn your microphones on. And we're starting. Hi, Kim. Hi. So Q is supposed to hit Q. Okay, so someone opened everything. Someone hit the light bulb. Who hit the light bulb? I did. Yay. Thank you. Where is the light bulb? It was uh, kind of down in the right corner. I already got it. Yeah, and that was quick. Okay. That means now we can see. So I'm going up to, oh, and I can spin this, I think now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to Q. Okay, Kim, did you want to go down? Because I made that. Yeah. And then Carrie, do you want to go down? There you yes. go. Awesome. And now um, I'm going to do that, I guess. No, now I'll need to turn it so you can come on this side. I keep opening. I gotta keep zooming in order to see get perspective. Yeah, go right. Yeah, go right, Pam. And then up, or just okay. No, wait. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah, go down. Yeah, there we go. And now, are we to go? Uh, now I think we're all on the. Yeah, let's just yeah. go over down, down and to the right. Okay. That was fast, ladies. Yeah. But I don't know if it's happy. I don't think we have everything because it says. Oh, did we not get all the? Oh, we didn't. Keys. Collectibles. Oh, five yeah. out of seven. oh there's there's I'll two down on the. Yeah, I'll get. Left. So it looks like there's one that's easy to get. You still have you still two, though. And so that one's easy, but yeah. Oh, Carrie did yeah, it. Go for it. it. Okay, so let's all meet back up at the. Yay! Awesome! You guys did so oh, good yeah. as a team. <laughs> Yay! You have to go back in. Carry it. Yeah, you got to do that. Oh, there we go. That was great. And it starts again. It's happening. Next oh. level. Oh. Okay. Oh, good. Next. Just gobble the guy. Yeah. Pam, go for the other. Go for the other. Up. Gobble, gobble. Just got so more complicated. Wow. Down, 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 down. down. Are we supposed to go through these? We're gonna to try to go through them? No, the last, the last line. I think John's also trying to help you guys because he's able to see the entire map. Aren't yeah, you I'm, so does that I'm stuck. Oh, I can't do anything. All right, I gobbled a guy. But see, here's the thing. Why? Are we not able to go through? That stops us. 
So we've got to figure out. Let me out go back up because it was changing. Let me go back up because I got it to change. Oh, I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Kim, Kim, go up to the washing machine. I'm stuck. Oh, you can't Must even go left. Kim, you can go up and to the right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so see if that, Kim, if you click Q or E, are you opening I clicked it? one. Yes. You should be able to go through it's now. It's now. I can't get through. Kim, you I'm could go through. Stop. You could go through. Kim, you can go okay. down and to the right. Oh, no, then it closes. Hmm. Still shut. Oh, so I have Looks to Looks like number that. two, Kim, Carrie. You go, Carrie, go up and over, and it looks like door number two is open on your side. Mm. No, it's still not. No, mine are both closed. No. No. So how do we open on door two? John, I can snap. Um, Kim, stay where you're at. Pam, go up, like okay. towards where Kim is. Uh, no, go back down into the left, uh, Pam. Go left, Pam. Okay. And then go up. And then go right. While Kim, yeah, keeps it open, and then you get the key. Nice. I see. I didn't understand. How did that? And that, are we just okay? So now zoom out. That was good. So, Kim, thank you for staying there. Is that, did that help? Yes. Oh, and now let's carry, go. Oh, curse. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I, I'm stuck on that. There's nothing I can do. I don't know how to get over to carry. Let's see if I can stop. Is there a door? No. Kim, can I still don't me? understand how to open Fill those doors. The control panel. Kim is, a, uh, Kim is at the control panel. So there's probably something that she can do. You're next to a two. Okay. So yeah. It looks open to me. Click on two. Click on the number two. Yeah, click on the number two. I mean, only Kim. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, my poor guy stuck. <laughs> so, um, and number two has been locked through. When you guys are at the washing machines, if you push a number, does that open the number that- Kim, that's can you press two? Yes. I've been pressing it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, time's uh -oh. up. Okay, so now let's zoom out and see where we are. Okay, oh, let's see, I see a guy. I'm actually going to need to head out in a minute. Thank you for joining with I us. I am Kim. as well. Yeah, I didn't want to just like leave, but. <laughs> yeah. My partners are leaving. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What time is it? 2.57. Yeah. yeah, we've been on here almost an hour. So, um, so, so I'm curious, the social and emotional learning part of it is the communication between partners of talking to each other. It's, it's their, the decisions that they're making, like um, right or wrong. You know, I was just curious, is there, a, a, you know, audio where the machine is telling them that they've said anything? Does the, does the computer, does the system speak? at all. Man, do you want to take this? No, the, so the program itself doesn't, but the Promo <laughs> Club has live moderators that are, that, are, that are observing the game and then teaching my kids. Got it. That always left. Me? Go left. Go right. Right now. Right. 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 
Okay, I'm at a washing machine, so if anyone, I'm 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 stuck. Oh, seven. We got to open up that. Hey, Kim, if you go down, would you be able to get there? I can't move, so I don't know if it's my iPad or something I need to do. Because I think you're, Kim, it looks to me like you're close to uh, the light bulb. Uh, Matt, do you yeah, guys... I can't move, so I'm stuck. Okay, go ahead, Pam. Matt, are your um, a respectful ways is hosted as a program that is done as tier ones, classroom wide, school wide, or sometimes tier two, tier three, one on one. But it it is important to always have that counselor or or psychologist or a teacher educators. Do you ever train, uh, like let's say a school adopted your program, do you train your educators? So like if like we partnered, it would be the sort of almost like, okay, I introduced you and I got you into a school system and um, and now your the, their educators are taught how to monitor, monitor this or do you ever do anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. We do, Chelsea. I'll I'll go I'll go ahead and hand that to you. All right. Yeah. So we do do that. I mean, um, every what you're seeing right now is the moderator build, right? This is given to every teacher, every educator. So right now, all the moderators have something like this on their platform, right, or on their uh, on their screens, and we're allowed to uh, assign the arenas. We're allowed to um, just see where to start or where to end the level, the difficulty of the game. Uh, we also can arrange the time. We It can all be done accordingly, right? So a pro would be where they're not able to see the bulb at all, right? So it depends from group to group. And our session guides change with the uh, group that we're catering to. Right? So if and, can, to, yeah. can, Go ahead. can I jump in and kind of answer her question as well, Pam? What, one of the one of the really wonderful things about Tomo Club is because we have a gaming environment like this, educators, teachers, people in school districts, they're all trying to measure and accomplish different goals. We can have your educators, teachers at the brick and mortar offices or schools moderate or join in moderating we like to make sure that we have our moderator teaching them because it is curriculum based it's castle we have a castle framework and so we like to make sure that the students are being loved on and and their their needs are being met but we also know that educators need to be able to communicate this and they need to be able to to understand it and so we we found that educators love playing tomo but we've built it so that they can have every different degree of involvement where they can observe, moderate, play. It's very, our, our, our ecosystem is very malleable. Got it. Very cool. And, um, and so you're, you guys have been Castle approved? Not or yet. Or do you follow Castle competencies? Yes, we do. We follow the, Castle. yeah. Yeah, fabulous. And then, um, and then do you do it where you're like, okay, so the teacher realizes that um, responsibility is something that they're trying to get across. Do you know certain like, okay, then we're going to pick this game because the kids have to learn responsibility over being compassionate and you pick a different game for the competencies? Yeah. So it depends on the need of the child as well, right? And the need of the cohort, right? So. Uh, our game, uh, the way that we've designed the entire program is very flexible, right? Because at the end of the day, it's the child's progress that matters. And yeah, so it's the child's progress that matters. But also one thing that we have been very careful about even designing the game is uh, building the game based on the curriculum that we've designed, 
right? So we have all the competencies in place. We have all the skills and sub skills in place. And based off of those, uh, do we design the games so that every game is able to provide the learning that we want uh, them to take out of it. So with this particular game, collaboration, communication, collaboration, and leadership is something that we look at, right, in terms of skills. And uh, our three main competencies are emotional intelligence, leadership, and innovation, right? So this is a leadership-specific game where uh, someone or the other would take the ownership or zooming out or telling the other person to, uh, say, go from one point to the other. Someone would be trying to figure out what needs to be done at one point of the map. Uh, or in one corner of the map and what the other need, other person needs to do. So a lot of communication collaboration takes place just because of the game, right? Yes. So, uh, each, each, yeah, to answer your question just in, in succinctly, Pam, each game is designed to bring out and and foster a core competency, but then there's also... 12 and th there's all of these other skills that it, it's ve it's very purposeful but it's it's also designed in such a way that there's different rigors based on the assessment of the kids that come into the ecosystem where they can play together so what i'd like to do just for the sake of time everyone it's we're four minutes over we respect your time i understand that everyone has questions and carrie john and Pam, uh, the, those those of you that aren't a part of our team, what I would like to do is just take this conversation off channel with, with you guys personally so that we can uh, share with you some of the really exciting things, that, the intricacies, the end of month reports that parents are getting, that just, just sort of so that I can answer your questions in a more specific way that's not as general to the whole webinar topic because you guys have me going i i'm i i i totally uh was it was fun to be able to watch you all play the game the way that i do because you can immediately see the benefit of zooming in and zooming out and then to think about kids taking this perspective into their everyday life is awesome i'd like to just end everything with a poll really quick if everyone could just take a second to fill out the poll, that would be awesome. And Carrie, Kim, Pam, thank you so much for, for your time. I'm going to reach out to each one of you personally via email because you can help me get better at helping kids get better. So first, first, first uh, question is on a scale of one to 10, how much did you enjoy the session? The answer is 10. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do Matt, I, the answer is 10. Do I, get, do I get to grade myself? The answer is 10. <laughs> All 10s. No, actually, give us what we get. So you stand off there. <laughs> I, I would just like to uh, put out a word of appreciation for John for being, uh, for actively trying to take part uh, into this entire game session and trying to help Matt, uh, to help Pam, Carrie, and uh, uh, Kim through it all. I mean, kudos to you for uh, your perseverance. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm heading out. Okay. Yeah, thanks again, you guys. Take care, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day, everyone. Sorry, John, we couldn't hear you very clearly. Yeah, I, I said, I said, we must be.
हाँ गाइस आई सी यू अकाउंट थैंक्स मैन ग्रेट वीकेंड चलो बाय गाइस All right, I said, um, will Matt reach out to me? So I send Chelsea direct message. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We will. Thanks for All joining, right, thank John. You. Thanks. All right. Great job, guys. Mm-hmm.